One of the most common questions that I have is how do you find so much content that you can use not only to write blog posts every single day, but that you can also use to fill up you know, your Twitter account and use in a variety of different ways. Uh, and one of my secret weapons that I really love is called Google Alerts. And what Google Alert does is it literally is your watchdog for the internet. It lets you know what's available, what's out there, and what's happening up to date uh, as of current date. So let's walk through Google Alerts a little bit and I'll show you how to use it and how you can you know kind of bring it in and use it to find content for yourself as well. So you can get to Google Alerts a couple ways. Uh, you can go ahead and you can type in google.com slash alerts um, or if you just type in you know Google Alerts into Google itself obviously it's going to pull it up for you too. So there's a couple different ways of getting to it. Um, but once you come to Google Alerts you have two choices. Now Google Alerts will allow you to work it without being logged in without to you know physically create an account if you choose not to do that. Um, or you can actually log in and monitor your account so that you can you know change things and you know maybe certain keywords aren't working the way that you like and you'd like to you know change things around a bit. So again you can work it either way um, to actually get the content in but basically when you come to Google Alerts you're going to see a create a Google Alert box over here so over here you can simply type in your search terms whatever they may be um, you should have a, a good quality list of keywords that you're already interested in and I would suggest that you start out kind of small start out with one or two keywords and see how it's going to work before you you know blast out with 50 search terms and you get completely overwhelmed so start out with something simple um, you can do a number of different ways of receiving the Google Alert. Uh, you can just monitor their news feed or you can monitor blogs in general or the web um, or video or even groups. Um, I always prefer to do the comprehensive because I want to know what everything is being said in any type of media. Uh, it doesn't matter to me if it's you know video or blogs or in their news feed. I want to see it all. So I always choose the comprehensive but again that option is available to you. And then you can choose how often you receive it. Uh, you can receive email alerts or RSS feed alerts either as it happens once a day or once a week. Now again because I'm writing on a daily basis I choose to do it once a day that way it comes in uh, most of my Google alerts come in um, more towards the evening hours so it's fresh and ready for me the next morning I can open them all up and I can see what's out there and go and visit different things and find things that I can start shooting out in in either my my Twitter feed or again if it maybe it spurs something that I can start writing about as a blog post. And then you simply add your email address. So where do you want this content mailed to? Now again, you're only going to do this if you choose not to have a physical account. So if you just want this to come to you and you don't want to be able to log back in and make changes and you know do different things like that, then you can go ahead and you can fill this out right here. If you prefer to have an account and you want to do some monitoring, which is the way that I do it, uh, you can either click on the sign in button here or you can also click down here where it says you can also sign in to manage your alerts um, through here. So once you go over here, if you already have a Google account, you can go ahead and type it in um, to the account box over here or again you need to sign up for a Google account itself. Let me go ahead and log in real quick here. Okay, and then when we log in here, we can see uh, what, what my actual Google Alerts are set up for this particular account right now. Again, some of the things that I always suggest that you do is go ahead and type in your name because anytime something is being said about you out in the in the, the blogosphere, you want to see what's happening, what people are talking about. Um, so I put my name out there. And then one of my key terms that I really am focusing on is photography business. So again, I do that as a comprehensive uh, type of, of Google alert. And then I also put in a couple of my websites here. So the socialghost.com and virtualphotographystudio.com. I put both of them out there because again, I want to know if something is referenced, if someone else is is either linking to me or making reference based on my particular websites, I want to know about it. Now if you have something in here like Lori Osterberg or you know even your web addresses or your business name or something like that and even though I have them set up for once a day over here you can see, if it does not 
not come out, if there's nothing being said out there about a particular search term, you will not receive an email for that day. So it's it's not like you're going to get you know a blank email on every search term that you do. You will only be notified once something physically occurs for that search term. So now, as you can imagine, um, for a photography business, I am getting a daily email. Um, there's always something being said on that particular search term that goes out there. Um, so that's you know something if you're staying a little bit more generic, you know not everything is going to be a fit for you, but again you can see what's happening. Um, once you're in your account, obviously you can delete by checking the boxes. If you choose, you know if there's something that is just not working for you, you can go ahead and delete it, or you can add new alerts as well. So you simply click on the new alert button, and it comes up with a search term, and then you can just type in again what what search term that you're interested in starting to receive. Um, one of the things I've been noticing uh, quite a bit lately is how to start a photo studio. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that out there just to see what kind of, of content is coming through based on that particular key phrase. And again, I like to leave it comprehensive because I want to know everything. It doesn't matter what form it's taking when it hits um, the, the internet. I want to see what it is. And again, I prefer email. It comes into my email box on a once a day. Go ahead and create your alert. And again, that's how easy it is. So now it's set up like that. And once a day, if anything is being said using that key search term, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll be notified of it. So again, Google Alerts is a great way of finding out content and it's directed right back into your email. So you can click on it, open it up and see what's being said on your, on your key terms. Uh, this is a great way of finding content and again, making you the authority and the resource for understanding what's happening in your particular industry.